Okay, today we're gonna show you how to make a good mix of alginate. The most important part of an impression is having a good, smooth mix of your alginate. Um, and that'll just really help make your impression really clear and diagnostic. So the first thing you wanna do before you even put your powder out is to fluff your powder. Just flip the container over once or twice. That'll help fluff it and make a better consistency. The next thing you want to do is always make sure you use the scoop it comes with. I've worked with a lot of hygienists and assistants that just will kind of go off what they feel is right. That just say, doesn't really save a lot of time and it honestly will not make, it'll make sure your mix is not right. So always use your correct scoops and your water container when it's time. So when you scoop your powder, don't put kind of tap it on the side, just do a nice scoop and then use your spatula to smooth it out so it's totally full. Perfect. Now you're gonna to wanna to put on your gloves. To keep that clean, take your, have no gloves on. Okay. We're ready to mix. So make sure, again, you have your water correct to how many scoops and use the water container. Again, a lot of people don't use it, but I always recommend using it. So key is, the key is time with mixing. Um, and then I also use this little technique to help get the bubbles out. So what you're gonna do is add your water, gently stir in the powder so it doesn't make a huge mess. When it's pretty much covered, Put lots of motion against the side of the bowl to make sure all the powder is mixed in and all the clumps are out. Once you notice that all the clumps are out, kind of get a lot on your spatula and go along the sides of your bowl like this. This really helps get all the bubbles out and makes your impression a lot better. Once you've gone along the whole bowl and all the bubbles are out, just take one scoop with your spatula all the way around and you're ready to load it into your tray. And that, again, will make it nice smooth with no bubbles. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a really good impression to make sure there's no bubbles in the margin and make sure the anatomy is really, really great for your impression for your doctor. So the first thing I always do is give my patient a paper towel just so they feel comfortable um, because it, a lot of times it is kind of a messy process. The next part you wanna do is you want to make sure when you place it, you start from the back, the molars, up to the anterior teeth. Don't just place it all at once, because that'll give you bubbles. I'm going to have our patient open nice and big, and I always start from the side or, and kind of from the back. Close down just a little bit, put lots of pressure in the back, and roll up to the front. As you come to the front, make sure the lip is out over the tray. When you're taking an impression, a lot of people just will take their hands off and walk away and let it set up on their own. Always keep your hands in. That'll prevent the tongue from pushing it. That'll prevent the patient from biting down. Um, it'll kind of have the patient feel a little bit more comfortable and stable. So always keep at least two fingers on the tray as it's setting up. While it's setting, you're just gonna keep an eye on the extra material that's in the front. Um, and there's a couple ways to check if it's ready to come out. You can use your finger. If it still kind of makes an indent of your finger, then it's too wet. Another way is to use your fingernail. When it won't make an indent of your fingernail, then it's ready to go. It depends on your material. Some's a quick set, quick set of 30 seconds. Some is a minute. If you're ever wondering what material you have, just read the label on the can, and it'll totally tell you what, what's going on. When you take it out, um, you want to make try to have it all off at one time, but sometimes that's impossible. So sometimes I'll reach my finger up, up into the buckle, um, the vestibule, and kind of push down on the side and rock it out. 